guys, go karts are gone fishing here. Um, I just posted a video, and uh, it's it's on this thing, but I can't stop working on it. It's still Sunday, so um, yeah, I'm gonna cut these out and then I'm gonna show you. I got four four-inch squares cut out, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. So guys, somebody gifted me this thing, and it's been sitting over here for a long time. And uh, me and Johnny tried it out the other day, and come to find out, this thing is freaking awesome. So now I'm going to use it all the time. Now that I learned how to use it. So you guys just saw me making these plates. Plan is really worried about the weight on this being on that one bolt. So I made these plates. One's gonna go on the bottom. One's gonna go on the top. So the idea is, is that that'll give me a little bit more support, but I ain't done yet. There's more support to be made here. Tornado. Skorsky. Always inspected my work. Alright, for a Monday after work, I'm pretty happy. I might get something else done. You know, it's daylight saving times, man. It's freaking awesome. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's like the 16th, I think. Um, yesterday I was sick and played hooky from work. But today I'm feeling a little better, so we're going to work on this old girl again. But as you can see, i got a few new tools in um, from a buddy of mine that's a, a welder. And he 
let me borrow his chop saw that he's no longer he doesn't use really anymore and also his gas welder so that's freaking awesome I gotta pull a little bit of wire off you know on the top it's kind of rusty he said he hasn't used this thing in like two years but it's got a full tank of gas and this is gonna make my life a lot easier so big shout out to Keith he's also the same guy that hooked me up with the metal all this metal that I'm using so yeah he's been helping me out a lot he's also the guy that honed out the five horse Briggs and did a lot of the machine work that I've been getting done or all the machine work I've been getting done so he's a big help um, yeah big shout out to him he probably isn't even gonna watch this video but it is what it is um, right now I'm working on a shock tower so I'm trying to cut this piece of metal and uh, make like a um, bracket like this and then I can run a bolt through the shock you know and maybe put some spacers in there and this is just gonna be temporary because I ordered some shocks and they mount a different way than the ones that I have over here so this is just so I can mock up some stuff for the rear suspension and yeah that's what I'm getting ready to do So I've been looking at my options for my rear shocks and I just cut this piece off and uh, I didn't spend too much time cleaning it up, but uh, what the, really bro, this guy's in my garage, check him, what are you doing, really, God. in my garage, jeez, no privacy, alright, so I built this and I was looking at putting it right here, right, which I really did want to do, but then I thought about it. This is a rubber engine mount, you know, and that's going to be putting all that weight on that engine mount. So I don't want to do that. I really wanted to. It looks like it might, the suspension at one time might have been mounted here or here. I think I'm going to unfortunately have to go for here because it's just a good mounting spot. And I think it'll look pretty cool from the back. So th like I said, this is just temporary. I'm waiting for my buddy to come over and give me a tutorial on this uh, welder here and uh, but anyway I got two bottom shock towers made and Johnny's on his way and now I'm gonna build some top shock towers and I'm gonna connect the two shock towers first got me and then I'm gonna go to that point sorry my camera's shaking over yonder Oh, I'm getting excited. It's coming together, boys. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. This design for the that one's not in place it's just holding it but for now I got a little bit of an acrement on the back shock got a little bit of a degree to it I think it'll be fine there's my uh, top shock mounts bottom shock mounts everything is just tacked right now Johnny's over there painting and working on his desert Desert Storm go-kart. <laughs> 
All right, so this is kind of mocked up. I think I'm just going to send it because I just measured from the ground to here on both sides and it is identical both sides so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tack that up I can't believe how square it's coming out so far like everything so far all the measurements are square so I'm gonna go ahead and tack that down and I'm one step closer to letting her sit under her own weight because I have those blocks under there under the engine right now hold me up Here's where we're at now. Go ahead, start judging. It's never gonna work. It's never gonna work! Get away, stop! Oh boy, what's wrong with that guy? Alright, so I got all these cut. These are my next four pieces cut out. And I'm going to throw them on there. I'm going to mock them up real quick. There's one side mocked up how it's going to be. Hmm? You saw it? Well, oh, I think that's going to do it for me today, folks. I'm going to spend tomorrow with the family and the rest of the day editing. And thank you for watching. Check out my live streams on Wednesday. It's part three golf cart build. Hopefully, uh, next video I'll be able to work on the front shock mounts and dash. And then the last one will probably be like steering and uh, pedals and stuff. So, thanks for watching. This is Nate. Go karts, you're going fishing. Peace. Thanks for watching. These springs are pretty strong. Get close. 